Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 10th of February. I would like to read in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 2. A wise servant will rule over a disgraceful son and will share the inheritance as one of the family. We have been sharing on this interesting text of Proverbs Proverbs 17, verse 2, and we shared about Joseph, David, and Daniel. What was um, that these three men had that they succeeded, that they actually did the will of God, accomplished the will of God in their time. Joseph was a slave, sold as a slave by his own brothers when he was a teenager. David was a shepherd in a little village called Bethlehem. And Daniel was deported when he was a teenager to a foreign country. He became a wise person, very important person in that amazing and great kingdom. David became the greatest king Israel ever had. Joseph became governor of Egypt. What is that quality that God is, is expecting in each one of us so we will become uh, kings, rulers in this world? Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 13, Better a poor but wise youth than an old but foolish king who no longer knows how to, to receive um, exhorta- to be, uh, exhortation or warning, warning here. So it is that old man, an old king is old, but not wise at all because he doesn't ac- ac- accept correction. The, the, the young person here is wise because he accepts correction, especially from God. Do you see a person wise in their own eyes? The, there is more hope for a fool than for them. We're not talking about our own wisdom here, but the wisdom that comes from God. And that's the wisdom that is going to change things. That's the wisdom that Joseph, Daniel, and David received from above. Instruct the wise, and they will be wiser still. Teach the righteous, and they will add to, to their learning. learning. That's Proverbs 9, verse 9. Listen to what Jesus is saying in Luke chapter 18, verses 16 and 17. But Jesus called the children to him. We are talking here about little children, about babies, and said, Let the babies come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as this. Of course, these babies, they came with their parents and the disciples were saying, what are they doing here? This is not for children. And Jesus is saying that. Verse 17, truly, I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Imagine if you go on holiday and you tell your baby, I'm going to go on holiday for three weeks and just um, behave yourself. When you come back, your baby will be dead because a baby is completely dependent on his parents. That's what Jesus is saying, telling his disciples, you have to become like a baby to enter my kingdom. How? In which sense God, uh, Jesus is saying that? Dependence on him. Completely dependence on him. You cannot do any, apart from me, you can do nothing, says Jesus in John chapter 15. Completely dependence on him. And that's what happened to Joseph, Daniel, and David. They were completely dependent on God. They trusted God. They trusted God's grace. And that's the only way you can succeed. That's the only way to be saved anyway. You cannot be saved by your own wisdom. You can only be saved by God's grace. You have to let God guide you. You you have to let God give you eternal life. Fill your heart with his love. With, otherwise, we are just our life is just a vapor. God have mercy on us.